Hi butterflies! Look at my bed. I didn't make it today. That's okay. No one's judging, right? Um, I wanted to share real quick with you guys some things. I've been working on a lot of crafty projects and I haven't been sharing. I want to share more of my crafty projects. I've been doing a lot more vlogging just because it's easier than having to edit a DIY. So I'm going to show you guys um, some little crafty things I've been working on and maybe inspire you guys. Um, let's get into it. So the lighting's probably going to be awful in here. That's another reason why it's hard for me to film these types of videos because I can't ever manage to film when there's good lighting. Um, I don't even know if this angle is going to be good. So I've been working on a lot of like little notebooks or traveler's notebooks to be precise. And this one, I was inspired by these notebooks. I was inspired by um, Lyric Lover. I think the channel's name is Lyric Lover 810. I will link the original video because I always like to give credit. Um, so I use this paper stack. This is from Hobby Lobby and it's the 4x6 paper stack. And they usually go 50% off. I have the bigger version of this and I absolutely love this paper pack. There's one of these that are particularly my favorite sheet in the pack. Where is it? I want to show you guys. This one. How beautiful is that paper? Oh, I love this paper so, 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 so much. I wish I can have this as my wallpaper in my room. That's how much I love it. So, so inspired by Lyric Lover, she made, um, she does like craft fairs and such, and she made these little notebooks for her craft fair. So what she did, she bundled them up um, in sets of 10 sheets per notebook, and then she bundled up two and tied a nice little ribbon around it, and it was so, so, so cute. So for me, I'm not gonna be selling these, but maybe in the future I will. These, um, so I want to start women's circles. And I've had this idea for a long time. I just never get around to do it. You know those things where like you want to do, but for one reason or another, you just don't do it. Like you're scared or nervous. I don't know. So for whatever reason, I haven't gotten around to it. And I will because that's one of my goals for this year, just to do it. So... Um, I decided that when I have my women's circle, I was going to give these little journals to the women that come and have them, um, like, make them, like, affirmation books. So, like, what I was thinking, so basically, these are all different sheets of the paper and different variations. So, they're similar because each set of paper brings five sheets, just in different assortments basically so what I'm gonna have the women do is like write an affirmation like I am beautiful I am enough I am worthy whatever it is that they feel like writing and then the, they can have these take home with them and then you know um, make it a habit to just write different affirmations and then whenever they feel like they need a little lift me up they can just look into their notebook and um, and they'll have this, it's so cute and so quaint. So I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, I made 10 from one paper stack. And so I've been working on more notebooks and this one I was, I have a bunch of paper, <laughs> you know, that's what crafters do. So I just, I said, you know, how can I possibly use it? So I did the same thing. I just started making it into notebooks. And I sort of like that little, like, rough edge to it. So I think in the future, I'm just going to leave, like, a rough edge to it. I don't mind it at all. You know, like, we're so worried about being so perfect. And I hate perfection when it comes to, like, art and crafting. I just don't think it's possible. Or that it should be, you know 
one size fits all. So I did the same thing here and I didn't even sta staple these. You can insert these in like your traveler's notebooks. I made various sizes using different things. So this was using like a paper stack that I had lying around and it's huge. Um, the thing with these papers, um, they lend themselves quite quite nicely to make these books because they're not like your typical hard cardstock. They're more like computer paper cardstock. So they lend themselves quite nicely to making these kinds of things or notebooks. Now this, I used my Molly and Rex cards. I love these. Ugh, I love these cards. I love anything floral and girly and pastel-y and... So I use these because, because I love it so much too. So I use one of the cards and then I use like plain white paper, computer paper, and I did staple this one. But I don't find it necessarily if you're gonna have if you're gonna have a traveler's notebook and maybe you want to change out the sheets every so often, um, just to leave it loose with the bands, it stays in there nicely. And then this was another set that I made using another paper stack from I specifically got this one from Michaels and of course butterflies and then for this one I used a while ago I I had hauled a four dollar grab bag from Michaels and I got a bunch of coloring books so in another video I don't remember now this time around whose video it was but they had used coloring pages in their um, traveler's notebooks, notebook I should say, and um, and I thought it was such a great idea to make use of this paper. You know, you can you you can color here while you can also make lists and notes and things like that. So I thought it was perfect, and so I made two, and I did the same thing here. But it was so cool and I'm using the paper and I'm using what I have in my stash and then I made these specifically for me because um, I want to keep these um, I had bought two of this paper stack but that's because I like it so much so I had bought two because it was on sale um, I don't really think that honestly at nine dollars is worth it because you can get the bigger you can get the bigger paper pad for nine dollars when it's on sale too so for me paying nine dollars for this and even the 450 for me it hurts sometimes because you can get the michaels hot buys for for around the same price so uh, i guess we gotta pick our battles so <laughs> oh and then i didn't explain that i actually i love rounding the corners in these notebooks i think it just gives them a little extra something um I also thought if you have like one of those cute little like corner punches which I'm eyeing at Hobby Lobby. My Hobby Lobby sucks. <laughs> I live in um, in New Jersey. I guess you would consider it northern New Jersey. There's just one Hobby Lobby around here around my local area. The other Hobby Lobbies are around 45 minutes to an hour away and I'm not traveling that far. But my local Hobby Lobby sucks so much like the like they really haven't put much of their stuff on clearance. I did find a couple of things, but it was mostly like the paper crafting. I'm seeing people haul stamps. I'm seeing people haul punches and things. Um, I've been going back and forth because I I love punches and I use them when I've done the craft fairs. Um, and so I'm looking to get like one of those um, what do you call it? Like tag punches. And I've seen people hauling them for like dirt cheap. I'm talking about $3. Those punches cost a lot of money and nothing. So please Hobby Lobby in Wayne, New Jersey, please, 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 please get your act together. Thank you. Okay. So uh, for this one, I used this paper pad, which I love. It's also from Hobby Lobby. I made a cover for it. Though, um, and even on these, I used tape to um, to give it a little bit more durability because from opening and closing them, usually the, the side um, comes apart. But with this one, I used this paper pad called Petals. This one I got from Hobby Lobby. It's also Paper Studio and I love it. 
I love all things flowers and butterflies, in case you didn't know. <laughs> and so I love this paper pad, but this paper pad, the, the paper specifically in this pad is, feels like linen almost. And so when I went to fold it over, it cracked and I hate when paper does that. So it doesn't lend itself to making these kinds of projects. These, this would be better if you're making, um, like I thought like about making tags with this one precisely because I'm not going to be bending it in any sort of way. So if you're going to bend this paper, I don't recommend you doing that because it will crack. Um, and if any of you know any tricks so that the paper doesn't crack, let me know because it really annoys me. But this paper, look at this. Jeez, this paper is so lovely. The first day when I got it, I was actually with my sister. And I could not stop looking through the pages. I was completely obsessed, and I still am. I thought of, like, like imagine this as a traveler's notebook cover. Like, how cute would that be? But being that it's going to crack, I'm a little bit scared now. I want to end up ruining it and then I'm going to laminate it and it's going to further make it even more stiffer. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, man. This paper is so gorgeous. I saw someone, I think, make a cover with this one. This paper is so good. Of course, I, um, it was on sale because it originally cost $19.99. So when I got it, it was on sale. And I just needed to get it because it's so gorgeous. So gorgeous. Um, I haven't gotten any of the uh, new Michaels or newish Michaels paper. Hot buy. What am I trying to say? Hot buy papers. They have a lot of wonderful like floral and butterfly ones. But honestly, I have so much in my stash already that I would love to use it before I purchase anymore. But this one was just one that was I had to have. I had to have. Like, you know how there's some things you just have to have because you fall in love with it? This was one of those things. So, so those are my few little projects I've been working on. Oh, and I also found, I also found these cute little rulers at Target for $2.99 and it brings 10. I figured it would be nice to like give these to your crafty planner lover friends and then I found more of these my camera is about to run out of space right now so I need to cut this right about now thank you so much for watching and remember fly free butterflies 